the office of the united nations high commissioner for human rights commonly known as the office of the high commissioner for human rights or the united nations human rights office is a department of the secretariat of the united nations that works to promote and protect human rights that are guaranteed under international law and stipulated in the universal declaration of human rights of 1948 The office was established by the United Nations General Assembly on the 20th of December 1993 in the wake of the 1993 World Conference on Human Rights. The office is headed by the High Commissioner for Human Rights, who coordinates human rights activities throughout the United Nations system and acts as the Secretariat of the Human Rights Council in Geneva, Switzerland. The current High Commissioner is Michelle Bachelet of Chile. who succeeded Zaid Rad Al Hussein of Jordan on the 1st of September 2018 in 2018-2019 the department had a budget of 201.6 million dollars and approximately 1300 employees based in Geneva and New York City it is an ex officio member of the committee of the United Nations Development Group the mandate of OHCHR derives from articles 1 13 and 55 of the charter of the United Nations The Vienna Declaration and Program of Action and General Assembly Resolution 48141 of 20 December 1993 by which the assembly established the post of United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights in connection with the program for reform of the United Nations the OHCHR and the Center for Human Rights were consolidated into a single OHCHR on the 15th of September 1997 the objectives of OHCHR are to The OHCHR is divided into organizational units as described below. The OHCHR is headed by a high commissioner with the rank of under secretary general. The United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights, accountable to the secretary general, is responsible for all the activities of the OHCHR as well as for its administration. and carries out the functions specifically assigned to him or her by the UN General Assembly in its Resolution 48141 of the 20th of December 1993 and subsequent resolutions of policy making bodies it advises the secretary general on the policies of the united nations in the area of human rights and shows that substantive and administrative support is given to the projects activities organs and bodies of the human rights program represents the secretary general at meetings of human rights organs and at other human rights events and carries out special assignments as decided by the secretary general as well as those human rights that are currently included in legally binding treaties the high commissioner also promotes human rights yet to be recognized in international law the united nations high commissioner for human rights in the performance of his or her activities is assisted by a deputy high commissioner who acts as officer in charge during the absence of the high commissioner in addition The Deputy High Commissioner carries out specific substantive and administrative assignments as decided by the High Commissioner. The Deputy is accountable to the High Commissioner. The current Deputy High Commissioner for Human Rights is the Australian National Kate Gilmour. The Assistant Secretary General for Human Rights based in New York City heads the New York office of the High Commissioner. The New York office represents the High Commissioner at United Nations headquarters in New York and promotes the integration of human rights in policy processes and activities undertaken by intergovernmental and interagency bodies at the United Nations. The post of Assistant Secretary General for Human Rights was created in 2010 when Ivan Simonovich was appointed to the position. From 2016 to 2019, the position was held by Andrew Gilmour. The current Assistant Secretary General for Human Rights since 2020 is Ilse Brands Carries. The staff office of the United Nations High Commissioner for Human Rights is headed by a chief who is accountable to the High Commissioner. The core functions of the staff office are to the administrative section is headed by a chief, Kyle F. Ward, who is accountable to the Deputy High Commissioner. The core functions of the administrative section In addition to those set out in section 7 of Secretary General's Bulletin ST SGB 1997 fifths R2 the New York office is headed by an assistant secretary general who is accountable to the high commissioner the core functions of the New York office are to the thematic engagement 
Special Procedures and Right to Development Division is headed by a director who is accountable to the High Commissioner. The core functions of the division are to the Human Rights Council and Treaty Mechanisms Division is headed by a director who is accountable to the High Commissioner. The core functions of the division are to the Field Operations and Technical Cooperation Division is headed by a director who is accountable to the High Commissioner. The core function.